What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Jack and Daxter Let's Play. Today, we're, we are going to be going into, uh, what's this called? <laughs> Probably should check. Uh, it hasn't even popped up yet, that's why. Uh, something swamp. Bogey swamp. Boggy swamp. That's it. <laughs> uh, I can't read. And we got this, these little rat guys. Um, so, yep. Uh, dude, I cannot speak. Yellow eco here. <laughs> As you can see, uh, I've been uh, recording a few episodes in a row where I haven't been able to, like, speak very well. And then... Rick Sarb's up here. You can actually, um... Jump over there. Which, actually, you can aim in and shoot these. This is what the yellow eco does. And I'm gonna wait one more time, and then I'm gonna roll over there. I missed... Actually, I don't even think I would have had enough. Oh, great. That was one hit. Nice. Step one. Stay alive. Step two. Think about not doing something like that again! Alright, so that's not actually the way we we're, we're supposed to go, so I will just not do that. Actually, I don't know if it is or isn't, but I don't think it is. So we'll just stay over here. Let's just break these like we're supposed to. So we can finally break these metal boxes on our own. Which I'm actually surprised the red eco doesn't do that because it's supposed to make you like super strong. Alright, then we could take this and shoot down all these little bat kind of things, whatever these are. Just because if we don't, they'll we they will attack you over there. Okay. Oh, and to aim in like that by the way if you haven't put it's a triangle. I hear a frog. Ow, that was dumb. Okay, let's come over here so that we can collect these orbs, and then we can use this to jump up here. And we got to take care of that. We can get a scout flight here. Um, I think that was actually just for that scout flight. I thought we were jumping into a different area there, so I was a little bit confused. Alright, let's try to make it across. Let's scan, let's grab that, and then we can just aim it here and break this little tree and stop these rats from spawning. Get out of here. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, so, I think I said in the last episode, but if you didn't watch it that far, I used to hate this level as a kid. I don't know if it was just like the uh, level design or the atmosphere. Oh god. How am I supposed to break it? I don't actually remember. I thought you just ran, ran from it. But yeah, I used to hate this. I don't really mind it now. It's not the worst level. It's not the best level. But I could do with it. I think if you go backwards like I was going to show you at the beginning, I think it is a little bit faster. But it's fine that we're doing it this way. It's not a big deal. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, and I don't think I said it, but you have to destroy this to stop the rats from spawning. I think it is a uh, power cell or something to break all of them, so you kind of have to go in that one. That's the one that I thought I was going in before, when I got confused. I feel like I get confused a lot. <laughs> Alright, we're going to come back in and do this area. Let's just head here. Grab that. Okay. And done. Okay, I wasn't sure what this was gonna expose, but that kind of makes sense. Now we can shoot this rock out. One down, three to go. Or five. Did I don't know. You see that? Only three more tethers to go. Okay, so it is three. It kind of looks like there's like one or two extra ones though. Okay. These ones might be a little bit annoying to get. Did I get them all? I think I did. 
Okay, I did. Cool. Alright, now we can uh, move on. We can go the way we were going before. Just to be safe, go that way. We already took care of this. Did I do this? <laughs> I already forgot. Dude, my mind is just not here today. I can't remember anything. Okay, we did. So, we can move on from that. Dude, I didn't mean to jump while on the pad. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, you, you guys have to witness this. And I'm probably not even going to edit it out. <laughs> uh, I gotta just do these videos for fun to like show my progress of uh, playing games and getting trophies and stuff. So it's like, I'm not too worried about uh, editing and stuff like that right now. Alright. So there's that, we collected this so that we can actually collect all these. Just because we get hurt if we go into the black goo kind of stuff. I don't even know what this is. Is it like some sort of, sort of like dark eco like swamp kind of thing? Or is it just like... It looks like ink. I think that's what I used to think. I don't even know if they actually say it either. Alright, almost there. Get a high jump off of this one. And another one so we can get up top. <laughs> that was kind of weird. The way those traveled. Okay, so there are technically four more, but I think we only have to destroy two. That would have been bad if he uh, caught me again. Actually, I didn't even check how many uh, of these are there. I got two of them, and there's two more probably, and then the scout flies, and then whatever the rest are. Okay. Get across! Okay, so once again, we want to shoot down these guys just because they're kind of annoying. They will attack you if you get close to them. There we go. And then. There's a scout fly over here. Let's go! And then before I do anything. Dude, come on, come on. I didn't get it. Okay, I need to go back. I need to get that last crate. Wait, can I just go this way? Oh, okay. I forgot that that was open there. Okay, it's not a big deal. I made that a lot harder than it needed to be. Okay, we're gonna just... And destroy that. So that we can get up here safely. Uh, where do you take me? Okay, this is the arena. Look out, Jack! It's an ambush! This is kinda like the Missy Island thing, you're getting ambushed. I think this one's actually like a little bit harder, I think. I think there's more enemies here. I could be wrong though. Or misremembering. I don't know. Or it was just hard for me. This isn't that hard. Never mind. Don't listen to me. This game's easy. As I get hurt. Actually, I don't like getting this in here. Needed. Okay, it was fine. I just near the end. Twist and shout and then edit on that. Let's go. Alright, so that's all we gotta do. Uh, I thought this was... No, it doesn't open up, it just shows you that. That is what the big uh, blimp is holding. That's what a couple of those uh, ropes are. Does that take us to the same spot? Here, let's test this out real quick. We need to do it anyways for the uh, orbs. Okay, no, it's just a different area. Ow. shoot this bad boy down and get another uh, power cell. I wonder if they just didn't know what to do for like four power cells so they decided to come to the level and just put four of the same ones in in different areas. 
Or if they like actually plan this from the start. Alright, let's get out of here. And we see a open power cell right there. That shouldn't be too hard to grab. Get you before you get me. Get you. And if we never cracked open that egg earlier at Sinal Beach, I don't think uh, he would be there right now because I think that is the same bird. Actually, I think Fluffluck can actually break these boxes. Up. I could be wrong, so I'm just gonna do this normal. But I'm like pretty sure he can. Or she. I actually don't know if it's a guy or girl. I think it's a guy, but. Oh, well, we'll test it now because there's some boxes right there. Can you? Yeah, that's what I thought. And he can actually run in here. I think. Okay, yeah. He can, but he sinks, I guess. I thought I remembered him being able to just straight up run through there, but I guess I am wrong. Alright. I wonder if I. Okay, I just missed that. I wonder if I could jump straight to that. Just kind of cheese it. Well, we can't actually because we need these orbs. Okay. Just to be safe, I'm going to do that. I don't want to press square and like run him off the edge. Almost there. And final jump. Let's go. And I actually just saw a couple of precursors I almost probably would have missed, to be honest. Good work. Right there. Aren't you guys happy you saved our little flood flood friend? She may come in handy again sometime. Now go back to the trans pad and I'll bring her home. Yeah, I almost missed these. No, I dude. Okay, it might just be easier to press square. I just figured he would like run off the edge on accident. But there's a chance of that anyways. Like that, but we collected it anyways, let's go. Alright, so now we gotta make our way back over there where we saw that little hut there. That's where the uh, fun little mini game comes in. Let's just sit here. Can we hit those or are they too far? We can hit them. This makes us a lot easier. Got enough of them. No more should spawn. Dude. I think there's one over here, isn't there? And I guess not. And I think there's a way to get the boat over here. I could be wrong. Once again. But I'm pretty sure I've seen clips of people like riding a boat there. Like the fisherman boat, I just don't know how or what to do to do that. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Howdy, friends. Enjoy my beautiful swamp. I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Carly. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could take those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Now question, do we help this guy out or no? I say, let's do it. Good! Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. Alright, so this is kind of fun. It's just destroy a bunch of these little rats. And I think you can let them take a couple of these away. You just have to save one like you just said. But I will try my best to not allow any to be taken. <laughs> I'm glad he's having so much fun watching. 
Get him. Side, my blind side. Is that all? Nah, there's probably another round. I was gonna say that has to be. Right, so far so good. Once again, I gotta check my blind sides, make sure they're not sneaking up on me. He almost stuck up on me. Alright. This might be the last ones. Well, fry my hide! You sure know how to shoot! Thanks a heap for the help. Hungry? Yeah, they're pretty easy if you just kind of spam your, uh, yellow eco. Alright, we got 64. We are racking these up really fast. Actually, I think I thought there was 101 in the other episode. There might be more, actually, now that I think about it, because we're already at... What? 64? So it might be like 121 or something. I'm, I'm like 90% sure it ends in a 1, though. Just get rid of this just to say we did. And I was wrong. This might be where the bow shows up. I just, once again, don't know how. Alright, is this the last bit? It's not, apparently. That is the last one for a power cell, though. I really hope I didn't miss, like, one. That would be so annoying. Okay, there are good amount of areas left though and i think this is just the last zeppelin thing and then we have 20 more so i think we're good actually and i'm only guessing that because it's an even number Ooh. okay i think this might be the last bit please tell me it is it's not Come on, game, don't make me replay a lot of this. Okay, there's five right there. That might actually be it. All right. And we stopped him from getting the artifact. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. Oops, I just pressed the complete wrong button. The workers wanted with it, but we sure didn't want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. He's so mean to us. All right, so I missed some precursor orbs somewhere. How many? Three. That's gonna be annoying to find. I mean, hopefully it's like down there. I don't really know, to be honest. So, I am... Okay. I think we're actually good. I was really nervous. I was gonna have to like run through the whole level. We're definitely good. Let's go, we're good. And that should be it for Boggy Swamp. And this whole area in general. So, uh, for the next episode, we are going to start out with the fight and then probably do everything that we can do um, in the, uh, what's it called? The main city? I don't remember what it's called. But, uh, let's see. Rock Village is done. Just making sure I didn't forget to turn in any precursor orbs. Now let's talk to her. Great. You have the 
valves for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now, be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. Kira, that's her name. I always forget what her name is. I don't know why. Alright, let's just head up here. We can finally move past the rock. There is like a glitch kind of thing you can do to get past that before you like lift it up. The like speedrunners do, which is pretty cool if you want to go like look it up. And there he is. I decided I'm gonna do this in this episode. <laughs> so let's just get this done. So he's gonna kind of predict where you're going. And we just wanna jump around and dodge all the uh, big rocks. I almost just walked right into the lava. Oh, oh wrong way. I forgot that it appears on the uh, last one he shoots. So it's pretty easy right now. We just wanna. This and you just shoot his belly because that's the unarmored spot. And then once he drops it on his head, run away. And I don't actually know. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say you might have to get on this one, but maybe not. I also think there's a glitch where you can like jump back up on the platform while he does all the shots. He also gets faster too. This game, so we could get a little bit of head start this time. And grab the other eco and shoot his belly again. No normal being would be able to survive that thing falling on the head, just want to say. You can also see why that last guy failed, because this would be very scary and hard to face in real life. Okay, he's actually like really fast this time, so. Oh, he didn't follow me. He just shot his own little thing there for some reason. Oh! He's really messing me up. Oh, I was one hit, dude. Are you kidding me? the final thing again. Alright, now I know. He just shoots kind of randomly. I thought he just always tracked you. That really, like, screwed me up last time. This is not going good. Like, sometimes he's a little bit behind on, like, where he's shooting. Like, I expect him to shoot somewhere else. This should be it. Okay, I wasn't actually sure if we had to run away, but I was doing it just in case. Alright, let's just grab that real quick. Declawed. left so we're gonna do with that in the next episode if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe thank you for watching